Hello, welcome to Van School. Hey, I'm uh, doing the. Uh, this video is a, a video about uh, adjusting a Wabasto heater for high altitude. So, here in the seat base of this Sprinter, the Wabasto is already installed. I guess I'm doing this at night. <laughs> There's a Wabasto heater in there. Anyways, and this is the wiring harness. So, just off of that wiring harness, there is a. Um, little pigtail and I've grounded that pigtail to the negative of this battery which is also powering the wire harness so the reason it, this is the instructions for adjusting a Wabasto heater for, for high altitude you ground that diagnostics cable that I just mentioned turn the rheostat dial to either 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock and let it fire up so you can hear it's fired up. I'm smelling the fumes out of this exhaust pipe under here. So it's firing and then within a couple of minutes that green light will start flashing. Once it starts flashing, I'm going to adjust it from one, the one o'clock position down to nine o'clock position. And that's the instructions for, oh, here we go, it's blinking. Here we go, Yeehaw! All right, well, I'm just doing this on the fly here. Sorry for the shaky camera. I just thought, hey, grab your camera. This is something someone else might want to learn about. So uh, I'm going to grab this rheostat, clumsily do this all at the same time. So now I've turned the dial down, the rheostat's down to the 9 o'clock position. Now I'm going to let this run for a few minutes. So grounding this, this is the instructions from the WabastoUSA.com Tech World official um, high altitude adjustment <clears throat> procedure is to ground that diagnostics pigtail. So I'll go back over this because I gotta let this run for a few minutes now. So this is the wiring harness. It's not all wired in yet. I did this first before wiring in the Wabasto heaters. Uh, wiring harness it'll get now tucked away underneath all kinds of stuff this is a long nice long wiring harness right so anyways uh, right off of the, the the furnace is right in there and this is about a foot back on the harness is this wiring uh, pigtail that's the wiring for their diagnostics tool so Wabasto well, says to ground that it's still blinking just wanted to make sure I didn't unground it yet I have to let it run for a few minutes so you ground that, either I did it to that terminal, on that the negative terminal on the battery. Um, there's a house battery inside this van that's going to power this thing when it, when it runs at night. But anyways, ground the, it's, I'm sorry, I forgot, pardon me, but I, it's, you don't just ground, it, there's a green and a brown wire, you, you ground the brown one. Pardon me, how could I have left that out? I kept just talking about the pigtail. So that little, um, well, I'll pull that out in a minute. Um, I gotta let this run for a few minutes, but when you pull it, when I pull that out, you'll see it's just a, I crimped like a little, I just crimped a little piece of metal onto the end of this wire and stuck it in there. You could have done it with a paper clip too or something. Just need to stick something into that. You don't want to. That's you know. You don't want to have to cut that pigtail off. You might need it later, but it has to be ground somehow. So don't. <laughs> you just ground it this way, simple. Onto the negative. So after this is run for like it says, three or four minutes, um, I'll unground it, and it'll be done. So this was adjusted. I started it at like one, uh, and turned it down to nine. It's. I guess if you do it. Uh, it's just because I want to be able to go it, that They say either do the 12 o'clock position or the 1 o'clock position um, I did the 1 o'clock I could have dialed it down to not uh, below 9 to 8 So that's the maximum range and then I guess you get the full The highest points on the North continental US I go about 10,000 feet so I wanted to dial it up a little bit higher past the 12 o'clock position to 1 o'clock to start with now I'm dialing back, and the whole explanation is that we're adjusting the 
oxygen to fuel ratio that's going on. So I don't, I can use this at high altitudes without clogging up the heater. I don't have to necessarily um, adjust it back at sea level either because it just runs a little bit leaner, which is good for the furnace actually. It'll burn hotter and uh, a little bit leaner, uh, burning off more carbon inside the chamber as it does that at sea level. So um, this will be all set once it's once I unplug it. And I'm watching the meter on this um, video itself, so pardon me for... I wanted to do the whole procedure, you know? And that's it. It's did it right. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Now I've let it run for a few minutes. I'm going to take the ground off. Let it run for a few more minutes. <clears throat> so you can see this was... I just, uh... I crimped that onto the end. You know, it's a little... I can't think of the word. And I have the same thing on the other end going into this. Um, so it's plugged in there now. But anyways, make sure you keep that ground away from the red. And this will go back to normal. Look at that. It's adjusted. Beautiful. There you have it. That's adjusting a Wabasto Airtop 2000 ST.